In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the PDF sign feature. Uh, some forms that you receive are uh, fill and sign as they call. Um, I have open here the Adobe Acrobat Reader uh, DC. I believe that's the latest version, the free version that most of us would have. Um, as you can see here in my PDF, I've already opened up the example I'm going to use. You can see over here there's the fill and sign. This toolbar uh, way my parameters are set up already opens up here but if that doesn't happen you can also go to tools you can see here there's the fill and sign form you can click on that option then you would choose uh, who needs to fill and sign uh, you're just going to do this the fill and sign click on that a little message comes up here uh, you can read that and then I come into here and you can see where my forms are I'm going to click in that and I'm going to type my name in so Lee Olmstead the date I'm going to I'll come back to the signature in a moment but here's the date now in this case um, it's set up if you click over here on the side uh, all you have to do is pick up the calendar so I want to pick up that and it puts in the date automatically in the format that I want and then now here's the signature part so I click in here and I'm coming up top where it says sign so I'm going to click on that. Now I already have a, an existing uh, signature, but here's how I'll delete that. I'm going to add a signature if you've not used this feature before, because I believe the uh, Adobe will uh, retain that. So I click uh, that, and then here's what you have. Um, you have three choices. You can either type in your name, and you'll see that there's some examples that will come up. If you have a device where you can draw your name, uh, you know, and actually write it out, you can do that. Or if you already have a pre-existing, you can click images. So here I want to type in Lee Olmstead. And over here they have four different styles that you can choose. Okay, I always try to do one at least that looks like cursive. Um, so there's uh, these two here and then this one here. And you can click apply uh, to whatever one you want. So if I click that one, it changes. Uh, I'm going to go back. I happen to like this one and I want to click apply and notice that here it says save signature if you want to do that. Okay, so then it's going to come up. And it's going to look like this. See now here I've got to drag and drop it. Okay, so I place it in here. I click on that and then it changes. Okay, so you can change the font. You go up or down. You can delete it if you redo it if you want. And then um, notice here it says when you save a form with a signature or initials, you will no longer be able to edit the existing form fields. Um, so that's kind of a security feature for you um, so that people uh, can't take your form. Um, and if, I'd, if it doesn't happen, you also want to make sure that it's just a, uh, a read-only form so that people can't go and take your signature. Now what I'm showing you is not a legal document or anything like that. Uh, it's just something that acknowledges that you have uh, looked at this particular uh, file. So I close that up and there we go. So now what I want to do is I want to save it, okay? So I click the save feature. I'm going to pick, I'm going to choose, I'm going to go right here into this folder. It's the one I'm using for this school year. And I come in here and then I'm going to call, I'm just going to add uh, my initials. Um, when you guys do this, I want you to put in your name so I can find it easy, okay? So I'm going to go home up here. I'm going to go Lee Olmstead. Okay, um, actually I'd like you to do, uh, put your period number that you're with me. Okay, so if you're period one, you're going to put a one. If you're a period uh, three, you're going to put a three. And there's periods four and periods five, okay? So I'm going to have this as save. And there we go. The form is done. Then you're going to take that form and you're going to submit it to me through the, uh, the assignment page um, in the Schoology. If you have any questions, please let me know.